in northern now, like Tomba, like Ukuhale, after another four years, eight years in presidency, we give Igbo the power. Nobody else will do that. Only Buhale. Oh, where do you the power here? Can I Buhale? Oh, Buhale will give us power. We transfer the presidency to Igbo man. Because you have conscience. It takes a decision. It doesn't bother who you are, where you come from. Yeah, Mr. President, I'm very happy. Somebody like uh, uh, Umeha is a young man who fears God, who thinks about the poor like yourself. Give him power to read, to read the people and Nigeria as a whole. I'm very grateful. I salute you, Mr. President. Thank you. So this was Otto Eze in 2020, promising Ndibo that his friend then, Uhari, will hand over to an Igbo man. It was two years later, he is today saying that Igbo should vote at Tiki because he will hand over to an Igbo man. This man is playing games and prioritizing business, his business interest. I, I believe he doesn't even know obedient movement. That obedient movement is not tribal based. They are not like just are not supporting PTOB because of his tribe, but are, they are supporting him purely on the promises of his personality, prudent management and scarce and of man, prudent management of scarce resources as well as his outstanding achievement as a governor, competency, capacity, and above all. So all these people, all these, their cheap black men, hypocrisy, the marketing strategies, will not even stand the test of time when we go to the ballot next year, 2023 election, to vote for the right man for the job, P2B. So I won't even be moved if tomorrow Valley comes out to announce it that uh, P2B will not win. That will not deter you know, ready and passionate Nigerians who are ready for this change and that change must be achieved through the ballot. So yesterday it was Professor Charles Soludo, today it is Otto Eze. Well we are not surprised so many of these people coming from Anambra State, P2B's own Anambra State to criticize me are even creating making P2B to supporters to increase more and more. I am not in support of P2B's ambition. I want them to withdraw Otto Eze. An Umbra born business uh, business billionaire, Prince Otto Eze, said that he's not in support of president, P2B's presidential ambition. Well, that's his own opinion. It's not the opinion of Nigeria, and he can he does not represent even the uh, whole of Anambra State, let alone the Igbo race, let alone Nigeria at large. They are actually telling us that P2B is not an Igbo candidate, he's not even a pop candidate, he's a Nigerian candidate because for him and uh, Soludo to come up to tell the, the whole Nigerian that they are not in support of P2B means that P2B is not just a candidate for the Igbo, he's a candidate that Nigerians want and one whom they have endorsed. He said, I want P2B to withdraw from uh, this race, but he would not listen. I told him plainly that I am not part of his plan. I told him to drop his ambition and wait for next time. When he told me about his ambition, as in that the states, he think he can win in the West and you know he told me, but I was not convinced. I told him he cannot win, so that he will not waste his time and money. Now my my question now is this: Atiku has been wasting his time and money, and yet Atiku is still contesting to become the president of Nigeria. Now if you know he's not going to win, I mean there is no harm in trying. Why not allow him to try? This hatred is so much. It's more of a witch hunt, or even is it more of a witchcraft? Buhari. Uh, did not no I mean I did not why is it Igbo people they are their own enemies that's why when Igbo cry marginalization I don't even you know uh, you know listen to them I don't even uh, you know pay uh, I uh, give deaf ears to whatsoever thing that they are you know agitating for Buhari contested for the president of Nigeria for up to three or four times since he was a head of state in 1993 and no northern politician or no politician from Kasina State came up to tell Buhari that he was wasting his time. Atiku from Adamawa, this is Atiku's fourth or fifth time in you know, contesting for the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And no northern politician or no politician from Adamawa State is coming up to tell us that uh, Atiku is wasting his time. This is P2B's first time of coming up to contest for the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and all of a sudden people from all walks of life, people that are auto is a, I mean, he is not even a politician. What does he know more? He doesn't know much in politics. He has not even uh, in, occupied any uh, known political office before. So how will he know, how can he now know that Peter B will not win? 
I mean, in which start point is he making his? What is the rationale? I mean, of what what is he trying to tell Nigerians? Really? So these people, I don't know why they hate this. You know, P to be so much. And the more they show manifest and show their hatred to Nigeria, the more P to be supporters are increasing day by day. I don't really get it. That he's not wasting his time and money. Is he your money? No. He's not his money. Now, P to what is trending on the P to uh, you know, uh, campaigns now, uh, you know, fill with less crowds. Before they said crowd doesn't matter. Now crowd matters. These people are jokers. Well, we have seen that from. In fact, in the video, because I didn't play the full video, in the video he said that uh, um, this guy, um, that uh, P to B will not win, but no problem. P to B will not win. It's not, it's not my thing. P to B, P to B will not win. There's no problem. We are going to see what will happen next year general election. P to B will end up becoming the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And all these people that are political experts now. They did not give such advice to Atiku for all the years he has been contesting for the president of Nigeria and has never won. They did not give this advice to Buhari in 2003. They did not give it to Buhari in 2007. All these years he contested for the president of Nigeria and lost woefully. They did not give him the advice. But now everyone is a political expert. Everyone knows that P2B will not win. P2B will waste his time. But what, I mean, he actually made us know Otto is Prince Otto is a, actually made us know that act, uh, that the reason why uh, Soludo, Professor Charles Soludo attacked Peter B was because he wanted to become the Igbo president, a president from the Igbo race, which Soludo can never be. Soludo can never become the president of Nigeria. We are even in doubt that Anambra people will vote him for the second time. They may not even you know, voting. They are not calling him a tax collector governor. He is taxing the people terribly, unlike the previous governors that ruled Anambra State. So, in my own take, I think this man, uh, Prince Otto, is a made it clear to us that uh, the reason why this man called uh, Charles Oludo, you know, took it took him 43 articles to demarket his own brother, someone he called his brother. Now, this P2B was the one who contested with him. He lost Wolfrey to P2B. And P2B ensured that Professor Charles Soludo did not take over from him. You know, Willie Obiano became the governor. It took Charles Soludo eight years after P2B's reign as governor of Anambra to become the governor of Anambra State. So, Prince Otto is a coming up to tell P2B we know he's is wasting his time. We are not disturbed. We are not pet up. You know, if we can get it from Soludo, the sitting governor of Anambra State. It's only Nigerians that would decide P2B's fate at the uh, you know, coming general election. Prince Otto is saying that P2B will not win. He only has his one vote. He cannot vote more than once. You know, He will only vote once. So he, he cannot vote 1,000 times. So Nigerians will decide. And we'll, I believe that what we're going to see in the ballot next year, 2023 general election, is what we call political revolution. Let, in fact, I wouldn't even be surprised to maybe tomorrow here President Buhari announcing that he told Peter B not to contest. I wouldn't even be surprised to see any other maybe sitting governors, you know, senators, House of Rep members coming up to tell us that Peter B will not win. Well, they've all said that many times, but we'll see who will emerge the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria next. Thank you guys.